New tonight, struggling to get online as kids start the school year learning from home. Now, not everyone has access to broadband internet. Now, you might think that it's just a problem in rural areas, but as WBZ's Mike LaCrosse shows us, that's not the case. It's been quite frustrating. Melissa Alice relies on dial-up internet for her three kids' remote learning needs. It's the only option available near her home in Conway. A rural town in western Massachusetts. So they have had classes where they could just hear voices and they, their classmates are frozen on the screens. Cell phone data service isn't an option either, so Alice finds herself driving her kids to places around town searching for strong Wi Fi. Sometimes it's chilly in the mornings, but I try to make it fun and I put my back seats down with a blanket and bring them a hot chocolate or something. Access to strong Wi-Fi is also an issue here in greater Boston. There are plenty of providers, but for many, cost is the issue. Your teacher is who you should contact if you're having technology or Wi-Fi problems. Jessica Tang, president of the Boston Teachers Union, says some families in the city just don't have access to the Internet. She says teachers are also finding that some students don't have strong enough signals. And so the connectivity issues are definitely very real and students dropping in and dropping off and obviously that's disruptive to remote learning. Tang says district leaders and the city are working hard to make sure families can find service to log on. She agrees with Alice that access to the internet needs to be addressed by state and federal lawmakers. Because I think there needs to be a lot more support for families that don't have internet access. For WBZ News, I'm Mike LaCrosse.